So guys, am I the only one wondering if Mohamed Kudu's transfer could actually go on? Because if you wake up in the morning, Mohamed could use this. If you wake up the next day, Mohamed could use that. If you go to the internet to read about Mohamed Kudus, you will see a lot of information, a lot of theories about Mohamed Kudus. You will not even know which one to believe in. But you are lucky. In today's video, I have compiled almost every story about Mohamed Kudus, every report about Mohamed Kudus from trusted sources, and I've compiled everything to make sense and see what is happening in the back scenes about Mohamed Kudus transfer would shock you. Guys, Mohamed Kudus is not happy at Ajax, too. He is not happy. We are going to talk about that extensively in today's video. Also, we are going to talk about Baba Rahman. Yes, Baba Rahman. He could end a call up to the Black Stars come September. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. He's not the only player we are going to talk about. We are also going to give you latest on transfer. Kama Osowa is on the transfer market. We are going to talk about him. We are also going to give you latest information about Ernest Nyama and also Daniel Efriye Banye. So today's video, it is packed. If you have not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed to, thank you very much. And I really, really appreciate it. So guys, let me begin with the transfers and then end it up with extra information on Ghanaian and Black Star players. With the transfers, I would like to begin with Kamau Sowa. Now, Kamau Sowa is a Black Star winger and he plays for Club Bridge. Now, with Club Bridge last season, he didn't score a goal in their league, but he gave four assists. Now, in their European games, he scored two goals. Because of these poor performances, even the last Black Star call up. He didn't end a call up to the Black Stars. Yes, he didn't end a call up to the Black Stars. And ever since he ended a call up to the Black Stars, he didn't play any game for the Black Stars I have seen. Maybe you have seen fine, but I have not seen him play any game for the Black Stars. From what you are hearing, due to these bad performances, he has been sidelined by Club Bridge. And luckily for him, there is a team that believes in his abilities called Standard Liege. Now, Standard Liege are in talks with Club Bridge to sign Kamau Sowa on loan. And they are now discussing condition and salary necessary to be able to sign the player on loan. And Kamau Sowa, I believe he really needs this transfer for a fresh start. So guys, we will make sure to follow up on this and bring you every information you need to know about Kamau Sowa. Now, moving away from Kamau Sowa, let's talk about this 37 year old former black star midfielder his name is Anthony Annan. Anthony Annan is in the transfer market see if Iniesta is doing it Anthony Annan you have my full support at 37 years Anthony Annan is in the transfer market and he's going to play in the Germany district league with Armenia Lerich I hope I just got the pronunciation right. If not, the information is on the screen. Yes, he has played in clubs like Schalke 04. He went to Finland, played in a lot of clubs. He's back in Germany and he's going to play with this new club. So guys, we'll make sure to bring you a here we go once everything is completed with Antonin Anand. Now moving away from that, let's talk about the big one, Mohamed Kudus. But I'd like to start from the beginning, the genesis of this transfer and bring you to where it is right now and why this is happening. See, Mohamed Kudus, when the transfer came up, Ajax valued him at 45 million euros. Now, the clubs that were interested in him were four, as at that time. Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United, and Brighton and Hove Albion. Now, Manchester United and Chelsea are out because Manchester United have Rasmus Hojland. They don't need Mohamed Kudus anymore. Chelsea chose Michael Olise over Mohamed Kudus. So those two clubs are out of the move. Now, it's left with only two clubs, Arsenal and Brighton and Hove Albion. There were reports that even Mohamed Kudus decided that he preferred Arsenal to all those things because Arsenal is going to play Champions League football and Arsenal are going to vie for titles. So we kept on, you know, researching about Mohamed Kudus' transfer. And we heard that Ajax and Brighton and Hove Albion had agreed since July in principle, to sign Mohamed Kudus 40 million, from 45 to 40 million, because they were negotiating to make sure this move happens. Now, if Brighton and Hove Albion were able to secure that deal for Mohamed Kudus, that would be a club record signing. That would be serious for a club to spend that much on Mohamed Kudus. Now, the only thing waiting for that move to complete was Mohamed Kudus agreeing to a personal term with Brighton and Hove Albion, and then he was stalling. He was stalling. He was stalling. Now, Ajax, on the other hand, wanted to keep Mohamed Kudus. They told him that they wanted to keep him for one more season, and then they would sell him to a better club at a better value. But Mohamed Kudus still wanted to leave because he believed that, looking at the Ajax squad, 
They don't look like a team that's going to vie for title because they have sold a lot of players. But I just wanted to keep some of their key players. But as to Muhammad Kudus, whether he would decide to go to Brighton and Wolf Albion, who are currently on the table to make sure he still goes through, are ready to pay the 40 million, or wait on Arsenal, his preferred choice. Now, Arsenal cannot sign Mohamed Kudus after spending 200 million, uh, around 200 million on the likes of Jurin Timber, Rice, Car Havet. They need to sell players before they can buy in new players. And they, they wanted to sell uh, Balogun. They wanted to sell Jorginho. In fact, two clubs have come for Balogun and they have rejected their offers. Inter Milan brought 35 million. Arsenal says no, go and bring 45. Monaco also brought an offer. Arsenal rejected it. So right now, if that Balogun move doesn't go through, Mohamed cannot accept or expect Arsenal to come and bid for him. That is the problem currently. And Ajax have told Mohamed Kudus that, see, we can't wait for you to do wait for Arsenal to come and bid for you. It's either you agree personal time with Brighton and Hove Albion, or you stay with us, and then we'll, we'll play one more season, and we'll sell you at a higher price later. This is the thing that is annoying Ajax currently, because, you see, I understand Ajax. Ajax wants to see, if the player wants to move on, they'll find his replacement. Now, if the player wants to stay, they'll build a team around him. So you have to make your decision so that the team moves on because the season is about to start. And they have given Mohamed Kudus two days to make that decision. You either stay with us or you agree personal time with biting a whole vibe and you move because Arsenal is not coming anytime soon. So guys, this is the situation around Mohamed Kudus transfer. And one year from the genesis to the revelation. That is what I've given you right now. Now, both coaches are talking. I asked Coach Wakasa, he deserve it. Brighton Hove Albion Coach Wakasa. They are all saying different things. So, guys, we'll make sure to follow up on this keenly and bring you all information you need to know. I just hope I explained it briefly for you to understand what is going on with Mohamed Kudus transfer. Now, moving away from that, let's talk about Barbara Man's return to the Black Stars in September. From what we gather in France, Gideon Mensah is injured. He got injured playing in the French League 2. Now, his injury, we don't know how serious it is. But then what we are receiving is that he's going to be out for at least three months. He's going to be out for at least three months. That means by, by September, he might not be much fit to represent Ghana. This only means one thing. Baba Rahman would be back. Because Baba Rahman, since he moved to PAOK, he's balling. He's doing well. And I believe Chris Hilton is watching him. So, guys, let's expect Baba Rahman. He could... I'm using the word could, so anything could happen, whether he's been called or not. I mean, it's all good for the Black Stars. Now, moving away from that, let's talk about Daniel Efriye Banye. After scoring a brace in his third game for FC Zurich, he has been named in the you know, team of the week. And we are all happy about this for Daniel Efriye Banye. Being named in the team of the week is not an easy feat for a player whose first season with FC Zurich wasn't good at all. But now, he is taking it one step at a time. And I'm happy with Daniel Efriye Banye's progress. And also, lastly, let's talk about Enes Nyama. Enes Nyama, after playing three games, scoring four goals and giving one assist for Nordjylland, has been able to get player of the month and also young player of the month in the Danish Super League. Danish Super League, player of the month and young player of the month for Ernest Nyama. So guys, this is the compilation of all stories concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players we have for you for today. Let me know your thoughts on it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notification. Charlie, join us in the conversation. Let's talk about Mohamed Kudus transfer. Do you think what Ajax is doing is fair? Let me know down below in the comment section because as to me, I, I support Ajax. Master, obey your decision. Your decision, yeah. The, the whole country was literally happy for you going to Brighton and Hove Albion. I feel who young who come see come sir. Come see come sir. Me, I don't know what to do. Hey, brah, like Charlie, be decided because we don't have time. The season is about to start. So, guys, that is all we have for you for today. My name is Adam. Thanks for joining me. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie. We go vibe.